I love the tradition of Wimbledon. I love the whites. I love, you know, that in any stadium you could hear a pin drop. You know, everyone respects the game so much. There's so much tradition, so much history. And I'm a person that really loves tradition. Honestly, there's so much in the world that changes. I like something that is always going to be there, is always going to be amazing, and that to me is Wimbledon. I think my most, most vivid memory of Wimbledon was watching Roger and Andy Roddick in this crazy long final um, tie break. It just kept going back and forth and we were on the edge of our seats the whole time. Roger's always been kind of my, my guy. I remember watching him before some of my races um, and always, you know, I, I feel like no matter if he's down a match point, I never feel like it's over. So for me, that was always something to look, look at and, and aspire to. This time he didn't need a second serve to get him out of trouble. There are a lot of similarities between tennis and skiing. Um, it's an individual sport, you're out there by yourself. When you're in the starting gate of skiing, there's all the pressure on you. It's similar to you know being down a match point. There's only you to control what happens. And I like tennis because you can see that on their faces. In skiing, you can't really see that because we have helmet and goggles and everything. But I feel that, and when I watch them, I can see their emotion and how they're fighting through it mentally. And um, you know, how the champions don't let the pressure get to them. I think Wimbledon offers so much respect for the game. You know, it's obviously tradition and history, but that's the tradition and history of respect and love and admiration. Playing on grass and watching grass is, is so much different. Um, and I just, I love everything about it. And you get some, you know, strawberries and cream, and that is always nice as well. <laughs>